around the Abbey. Mm -hmm. What is your take on what is going on? What's my take? Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate. It shouldn't happen. And what is the cause of this unfortunate situation? I, I mean, as far as you are concerned. Really, I think that is, is just um, I mean, MPs. I mean, they 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 ought to look. I would have wanted a situation where we had both sides in the house, or or if there were issues with the business. That's why I went back to the business committee. That I would want to see the issue of the business committee. If there were any issues, you see, if there were any issues with the business committee meeting. I would then expect that there's a representation made to the speaker to say that, Mr. Speaker, uh, the business committee ought to meet to deliberate on the business for the day. Because of A or B position, we are unable to meet. Because I know that the composition of the business committee also has to be but majority. See, the, the what happened yesterday yes. was not because the business committee hasn't presented a report. The speaker said it. What happened yesterday mm. was because the NDC people mm -hmm. had gone to sit at the place where the NP people should sit. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. That is all. Okay. And we must face the truth. How do you resolve that? The matter has been resolved. No, I'm saying that. The, the matter has been resolved. No, Randy. No, no, no. You don't get, I'm saying that. I'm telling you the matter has been resolved. No, I'm just saying that okay. what happened yesterday the NPP believes that this is where it's supposed to sit. Yeah, on the now, majority side. Yeah, now it finds out that the NDC is going to sit there. Yeah. What should happen? What should, what happen? should happen? What should, what, the, what, what should the NPP do? What, what should happen? Like I said, the matter has been resolved. What led the NDC people to go and sit at where the NPP people sit? What led to them? Mm -hmm. Because Speaker Bagley had declared some seats vacant, mm -hmm. four seats. In the calculation of the NDC, mm -hmm. if those seats are vacant, then they become the majority. Yes. So if they become the majority, then they should sit on the majority side. Mm -hmm. Today we are being told by Samuel Kujato that where you sit doesn't matter. To transact government business. To be... where, where you sit doesn't matter. If where you sit doesn't matter, mm -hmm. Why are you sitting on the majority side? Because we are the majority, according to the speaker. So why you sit matters? You, so why you, you sit matters? You clearly did, you're taking <laughs> me out of context. I said, oh. I said that you can transact business oh, from any man. side. To transact business, it doesn't matter where you sit. So you can be minority and so, bring government business. So and I've talked about the possible scenarios. Okay. So if and this is under the constitution. Okay. If where you sit, look, the truth is always pure and simple. If where you sit doesn't matter, mm. why have you moved from your place, the left side of the speaker, mm. to the right side? Because we are what? because we are now majority. And the majority sits so on the right hand side mm. of the speaker. What led the NDC people to mm. go and sit on the right? Because the speaker had declared some seats vacant. Mm. And when they did a calculation, they said, Well, if we go by what the speaker, the speaker's declaration, mm. then we are the majority. So mm. they then move from the left side. Mm. to sit on the right mm. the supreme court mm. has been seized with the matter mm. as they should be mm. and they have said that because we have been seized of the matter let the status quo remain mm -hmm. until we finish with the matter mm -hmm. so the matter has been resolved Mm -hmm. All we have to do is obey the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. What is more difficult? What is more easier than this? The Supreme Court has shown the matter. The Constitution of this country uh, gives the Supreme Court the power to interpret provisions of this Constitution. Mm -hmm. So, if there is a difficulty or disagreement about a provision in this constitu constitution, it is the Supreme Court that must resolve it. Speaker Bagley made a ruling based on provisions of this constitu uh, uh, constitution. That interpretation he gave has been challenged. 
at the proper forum, the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court hasn't even said Bagbin is wrong, the, the speaker is wrong, or the, somebody is right. Mm -hmm. He says that stay the status quo while we go into it. And that's normally what happens. Staying the status quo means that everybody sits in their place until the matter is resolved. Mm -hmm. You know this. Mm -hmm. I know this. Mm -hmm. Samuel Okujato says he doesn't know this. Mm -hmm. Speaker Babin says he doesn't know this. Why? 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 What has Speaker Babin said? Because he allowed the NDC people to sit on this right. How did he allow them? Is it now, now that's why I asked the question. Uh -huh. That all what you said, we're all aware. And in my I'm question, I'm happy you are aware. Too. Yeah, we are aware. We are yeah. aware of what the Supreme So why are we not aware? No, hold on. And I'm saying that. That's why I asked Sami that we are aware of what the Supreme Court's position is. Mm. So that's why I asked you. And you question. agree that that should be the position. So that's why I asked you the question mm. that if this is what we all expected, mm. and the minority, uh, the MPP yeah. group, then found out that look. Where we expect to sit yeah. on the basis of the Supreme Court ruling yeah. is where the other side are seated. Mm. What should they have done? What, what should, should they go and fight them? No. Should I, they go and remove them no, from no, the No, I'm seats? asking you, I said, what should they have done? Are we saying that there is nothing to, to be done? They could not have entered the chamber. They could not have uh, uh, made an official complaint to the speaker. Enter the chamber to sit where? No, so I'm asking you. Well, that, well, is, is well, that well, nothing they could have no, done? No, to, to they could not well, have brought that to the attention of the speaker. They couldn't have done The speaker nothing. couldn't see the people sitting in the wrong place. Somebody has to go and point it out to the speaker. Mm. This is clear unruliness. Okay. Clear unruliness. Look, even on this small table that we sit, there's mm. order. Mm. Do you know why there's order? Mm. Because we allow you to preside. Mm. When we came, you asked Sami the question. Mm. Mm? And Sami proceeded. That is order. Yeah, but when you felt that when you felt that Sami was taking too much time, you raised it with me. Yes. I raised it with you. Yes. Now, I'm saying that that is consequential upon the order. The order is that. And, and when, when I asked you and you said, Oh, you finished now, what did I do? Yeah, but at least you raised no, it. Yeah, yeah, and then what did, what did I do? You said, oh, you finished. Oh, yes. That is order. Yeah, you raised it and you got a response from yes, me. but that is order. Yes. Now, if I came here this morning mm. and there was somebody sitting here, who am I going to sit to even raise this matter with you? So I'm saying that even on this small table, there's order. You, you asked me to start. Mm. You could have asked me to start. Yes. And I would have started. Yes. That is order. Yes. So the Supreme Court says, the status quo should remain. Mm -hmm. What is difficult to understand about this? And then you go and sit on the majority side. So clearly, you are flouting the order from the Supreme Court. And if we're going to flout the order from the Supreme Court, then we are overthrowing this constitution. It is very simple matter. What very, want... very simple matter. And, what I want to find and, out for... and lawyers. Yes like the speaker mm -hmm. and other people. They say they don't understand this. They don't understand this rule of law. What has, I don't the, what has the speaker said? Because the speaker, which, which is, allow, the speaker is allowing the NDC people mm -hmm. to disobey the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Where they went to sit yesterday, mm -hmm. as Samuel Kujodifi was in the chamber, mm -hmm. wearing their name tags. Mm -hmm. They were name tags. Mm -hmm. Isn't there? Mm -hmm. And yet they went and sat there. Then we're, now we have been told that it doesn't matter where you sit. It doesn't matter where you sit. So if it doesn't matter where you sit, why would you go and sit at a place where other people have their name tags? None of your experience. They're the standing ah, but this, orders. Should, should this even be a subject? None of your experience with respect to the standing orders of parliament, oh. which I am told governs what happens in parliament. Yeah. If there is any such issue, if any side or anybody in the house acts contrary to what it should be, mm -hmm. and they lay down procedures per the standing orders for the aggrieved party or anybody who thinks that something wrong is being done to do, is, isn't there anything? The simplest thing to do is to obey the Supreme Court. 
Yeah, so as soon as don't, one side is not don't, doing don't, don't, it, don't, what happens? See, but why should one side not do it? Why? You see, the question is, why would somebody disobey the Supreme Court? And then we are being told, go and find other ways of resolving it. What other ways are there? What order is more final than the order from the Supreme Court? Yeah, but people, so, people disobey court decisions all the time. You would but the there. same law you, you will, provides you will, for how to deal with them. You have to, deal with, you have to be arrested. In fact, this, this yes. thing, let me read the Constitution to you. Mm. The very, very first page, mm. chapter 1. Mm. And you know it. Mm. Plus two, the constitutions are the supreme law of Ghana, mm -hmm. and any other law found to be inconsistent mm -hmm. with any provision of this constitution is, to the extent of the inconsistency, null. So that means that this constitution mm -hmm. is supreme. Mm -hmm. Any law should conform to what the supreme this thing. But this constitution cannot provide for everything. It's only how many pages? Mm -hmm. 150 pages also, 120 pages. Mm. So it provides that when there's a dispute about any provision in this constitution, mm. it is the Supreme Court that must resolve it. Mm. You know this, I mm. know this. Sami mm. Oper should know it. Mm. He's pretending he doesn't know. Anything that has to do with the use of the provisions of the constitution has to be resolved by the Supreme Court. Mm. We have been told today that when you go to the Supreme Court to seek clarification, you are, you, you are undermining parliament. When mm. did, this is a new thinking that I have never heard before. In fact, that's why it's new. In fact, we should applaud people who go to the courts instead of taking, violent, taking up violence. Mm -hmm. That's what we should do. We should applaud people. Now, it says that any person who alleges, this is clause two, any person who alleges, that an enact enactment or anything contained in under the authority of any other enactment or any act or omission of any person is inconsistent with or contravenes provisions of this constitution may bring an action. I mean, this is small boy's knowledge, so I don't understand why I'm, I'm even going about it. We all know this. Mm. Bagman gave his opinion. Mm. He said that as far as he was concerned, the four seats of these members of parliament are vacant. Mm. They should no more come to parliament. Mm. Other people disagreed. He, he, he based his opinion on a provision of this con constitution. Other people disagreed. Just for clarity, it says that the decision was based on the standing orders, not the constitution. Just for clarity. Wh which standing orders? He, he referred to it. I've forgotten the, the, the exact The answer. standing orders. Yeah. Is inferior to yes. the constitution. Yes. In fact, the standing orders take their effect from this constitution. And when you look at all the, the standing orders where provision have been made in the constitution on an issue, mm. they just take the constitutional provision. Yes. The standing orders cannot be in contravention of this constitution. In this constitution, mm -hmm. it provides in the um, is it ninety seven? That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I'm not saying that the standing orders are in contravention. I'm just saying that for clarity, the, or for precision, the speaker referred to the standing orders the, in coming, the, the, the in, speaker, uh, in arriving at his listen, decision. Listen, the speaker also referred to 97. But even if he didn't refer to 97, mm. like I'm telling you, and you know it, mm -hmm. you know it, mm -hmm. but even if he relied on the standing orders, mm -hmm. To the extent that somebody believes that his interpretation of the standing orders goes against this constitution, they can bring an action at the Supreme Court. Yes. In fact, the standing orders have been ruled upon by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. You remember? Huh? Even <laughs> when you hear them, they say there's separation of powers. And these lawyers, you hear them on radio, there's separation of powers. They hate them. Lawyers. Who've been to law school? Why well, you have a problem with that? But that, that, that is dishonest. There is suppression of powers, and there's also, you know, it was the other one. I don't know. Tell me. You know it. Ah, tell me. You are turning me into a mind reader this morning. Now you yes. know there is separation of powers, uh -huh. and there is also checks and balances. Don't you know? There's also checks and balances. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. 
That is why the three arms of government, because we don't have time, you know, but you know there are checks and balances. That is why, they, so no arm is totally independent. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, this is plus one, you know, constitutional law. I don't understand why. The, the basic point is that this constitution mm -hmm. is supreme. But your understanding, my understanding, may not always go together. There will be conflict. How do you resolve the conflict? Mm -hmm. It says that go to the courts. Mm -hmm. So that is what was done. The court said, the matter has been brought before me. In the meantime, stay in the decision until we go into the matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people say they don't understand this. And so they are going to go and sit on the right side because the speaker has said some seats are vacant. The Supreme Court has said that that declaration by the speaker should be stayed. You don't understand this. The speaker himself says he doesn't understand this. He's asking why are people taking uh, 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 proceed, uh, his ruling to court? Why? He doesn't understand. Is the speaker, is he a law to himself? Mm. Isn't he a creature of this constitution? The speaker, isn't he a creature of this constitution? Mm. Is he a law to himself? Did he create it? Did he come to that position by himself? Mm. And when your action or your uh, 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 decision is taken to the same constitution which created you, you say, why? Why is somebody taking you to the Supreme Court? Mm. Even the executive, hmm? when they do something and somebody disagrees with their interpretation of the law, they will be taken to the Supreme Court. Mm. And it's happened so many times, and you know it better, mm. because you've studied it for your, you know, as part of your age. Mm. When the celebration of 31st December, under Jerry John Rawlings, mm. Somebody said, the way Jerry John Rawlings said that the government at that time was celebrating 31st December was, goes against the Constitution. They didn't go and attack anybody. They went to the Supreme Court, the people who thought Jerry Rawlings was not acting properly by the way they were celebrating 31st December. That is an action by the executive. The Supreme Court told the executive, you cannot celebrate 31st December in the way that you are celebrating it. Mm. That is a Supreme Court pronouncement on the executive. And Jerry Rawlings obeyed. The speaker is being unruly and the NDC side too is being unruly. Mm. Now they say we should go and sit down somewhere and, and talk about it. Mm. On what we've been told, Bagman's statement yesterday or two days ago. To sit down and talk about what? Mm. The Supreme Court has given a simple ruling. Mm. He says that that your declaration of force is vacant and the effects thereof mm. state. Mm. What is difficult about this? Mm. What is that? They say we should go and sit down somewhere and, and do what? Mm. The people came to the floor. You have gone and sat in their places. Why are they going to sit? Because if they went and sat anywhere... They should, they should sit on the other side and expect the speaker to communicate the decision. Once he communicates it, the right thing will be done. Or oh. The speaker did some communication to the house. He did what? Communication to the house. Didn't he? As in the adjournment. Yes. He done. Yes. Mm. Didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yes. What stopped him from doing that communication? Mm. Because now his people are saying... That because you haven't communicated to us, well, we don't know of mm. any Supreme Court ruling. Mm. You told us that the seats are vacant. Mm. You haven't told us that the Supreme Court says I should stay, so let's stay. Everything mm. should be. So you haven't told us. Mm. So they are blaming the speaker or mm. hiding behind the speaker mm. to be unruly. Mm. And then Samuel Kujato is telling us today that you can sit anywhere. Mm. <laughs> this is what it's, it's come to. You can sit anywhere. Mm. Even on this table, you can't sit anywhere. On this table, you can't sit anywhere. Can you? You mean you can't sit to the left? I can't sit on, in your chair here. But can you I? can sit to the left. Can I sit in your chair? You can sit there. Nobody wants to sit on the speaker's chair. <laughs> but the speaker's chair is not <laughs> It's not in the chair. I'm the speaker. Nobody <laughs> wants to sit in the speaker's chair. <laughs> but, but you see, that, 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 Randy, that shows you the 
verdict and the foolishness that we are, we are, enjoy, we are, we are suffering. Because somebody can stand on this thing that they are saying. Go and speak, sit in the speaker's chair tomorrow. Because they say we can sit anywhere. And I, I mean, Jesus wept. And, and why are they doing this? Mm. You see, and for me, apart from the foolishness of this whole thing, mm. what I am concerned about is that we are risking overthrowing our democracy. Mm -hmm. Because our democracy rests on the Supreme Court mm -hmm. resolving disputes. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what our democracy rests on. If you remove that, then what you are going to have is chaos. Mm -hmm.